Hello everyone, it's Kyle again, and I have a fire hat that my mom made. She likes to make beanies. Uh, she has some kind of quilting hoop thing that she like winds um, yarn around <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. And um, she asked me if we can find these things that are called cord locks. We didn't know what they were called, but they're called cord locks. Here, let me zoom in on it a little bit. It's called a cord lock. And uh, she wanted to know if we could find these things online and make kind of like a draw strap on the inside of her beanies so we could cinch up the, cinch up the hat, you know, around a person's head. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, we found that. And uh, that was pretty awesome. And uh, but she makes these beanies with this this brim, this gigantic brim, it's like this big, thick, round tubes, like an inch of diameter on the inside. And uh, I figured we should put some things inside there. Oh, and uh, this is my hat that Mom made for me. And I put a little fire kit inside here. And here's the top of my friend's hat. Mom made this for somebody else and uh, it has these beautiful colors in it and uh, I asked her if I could send it to my friend and uh, oh, uh, my friend and uh, so I'm gonna send that to him okay uh, I'm gonna put down my camera okay camera is down okay so you might have noticed there's a little compass inside here and uh, this is part of the fire kit, and there's the uh, there's the scraper blade. And if you pull this other side out, you got to be a little little delicate and kind of finagle these things. Oh, come on! What's the problem? Come on! If you get caught on something, hopefully you just tear it off. Come on! Yeah, perfect timing when I'm making a video, it gets caught on the fiber. Okay, okay, the hat, the hat's awesome. Okay, the fire making kit, the fire making kit. There's this uh, little blade inside here. Let's, let's zoom up on that. It's not very, it's not very focused, just like all of my damn videos. Anyways, I got this little uh, little scraper, little scraper blade knife. I made this little sheath out of some um, uh, shrink tubing that I didn't shrink. And uh, this little scraper blade knife. Uh, I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. Oh, we, we, we focused a little bit. No, we're out of focus again. You can kind of see on the top there's some um, serrations, kind of like a little simple saw. But this little saw is only like an inch, and if you really need to use this to do fire work, I feel bad for you. But uh, if you do need to do, you know, use this to, like, file wood or something, or cut wood, then I guess you can. Uh, one important thing you need to know about this uh, little blade, when you're holding it and you're pushing down on something, this round, this round handle here, it likes to rotate in your fingers. So if you're pushing down real hard on something like your ferrocerium rod and you're scraping real hard or you're scraping something else or whatever, but uh, just be aware that this little blade <clears throat> yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit better. Maybe not. Come on. Oh, look, look, we focused. Oh yeah, so there's the uh, scraper, scrapers, scrapers the teeth on the top and on the bottom there's a little you can't even see it I'm can't I can't get the right the right angle and kind of, kind of see that there's a little blade at the bottom a little blade in the front anyways but yeah okay so uh, when you're pushing down on it sometimes it likes to rotate up on you so just be aware of that okay that there's the compass, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. And there's the ferro, there's the ferro rod, the ferrocerium rod. If I'm still, it might, if I'm very still, very, very still, if I'm very, very still, then it might uh, focus in. 
Did I scrape that side or that side? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I use that with the fire scraper. It's a uh, it's an awesome little thing. Uh, the compass. The compass. These compasses are nice. I really like the way they look. I like the big white thing at the bottom, the red thing at the top. If you're in low light conditions, like you know, outside in the stars or the moon, you can see you know the the big white thing at the bottom and figure out which way you're going. That's awesome. And on the bottom is this nifty little plastic thing that I glued to the bottom and I 3d printed this I 3d printed this out and uh, it holds the um, uh, what's that called the paracord that goes through it two strands of paracord or whatever so uh, very nice little thing and then I glued it on the back of this compass this compass when I bought it I bought 12 of them and uh, they're supposed to all look like this where did that other compass go but uh, they sent uh, just three of these cool looking compasses and nine of these crappier looking compasses. You know, they still work, but in dark conditions, I can't tell which way is north really. I mean, you can barely tell. I mean, my, my picture on my camera looks like it's kind of blurred out, a little blurry. I can't, you know, you, it's hard to tell which one is north or south or east or west because they all kind of look the same. It's little green blobs and white blobs on the black but uh so i hope i can get more of these anyways i'm going to leave uh links to all of these parts on uh on uh on ebay links okay and the final thing is uh this little micro flashlight you click it once and it's one lumen worth of light you click it twice and it's 45 or no this one is 55 lumens 55 lumens worth of light and uh, it plugs into a USB, micro USB port plug, plugs into the side of it right there. It's got a little black rubber plug right there. And um, yeah, it's a micro flashlight. And I'll leave a link to this also. Okay, let me see. Uh, what are the things that I have written down here? Uh, beanies, cord lock, cinch bean, they. Uh, big to put things in there like a fire kit, fire compass, spray refer. Oh, 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 one more thing. Okay, back, back inside the hat, uh, here you can kind of see maybe a little bitty. There's a white thing inside there. Where's the white thing? Is the white thing? There's the white thing. There's the white thing. There's, there's some white things, anyways. Uh, Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, what is that? Is it, no, it's not what you think it is. Or maybe it is. That's a little baggie with white things inside of it. What are those white things? Can we focus? Doesn't matter. Here. Uh, these are, uh, uh, Tinder Quick from the Tinder Quick Corporation or somebody, 50 Cal, 50 Call Corporation. Tinder Quicks. It's a little thing made out of copper, uh, copper, cotton, and you, like, uh, take this and you rough it up and make it all nice and poofy, and then you scrape your ferro rod and the sparks lie on it and it catches on fire real fast and easily. Uh, uh, tender quick fire starting tabs uh, it says they uh, ignite easily with just a spark burns one to two minutes waterproof and windproof berry compliance no idea what that's called manufactured in the United States first quality but uh, they say that they're waterproof and uh, I hope they are waterproof and uh, if they are waterproof, that means that uh, I can just like carry them around and not worry if they get wet. But uh, anyways, inside of my hat, I have uh, four in each of these bags, and I have four of these bags. Four bags with four of these each. Okay. Oh, the flashlight. Yeah. Okay. This is the Night Core tube. It's 55 lumens, and uh, you click it once. It's one 
one lumen which is actually really handy when uh, you're just when it's dark when it's uh, when it's completely pitch black that one lumen light is actually enough light to be able to see which is awesome and it says it'll run off of a uh, one lumen for for 58 hours it'll run on one lumen for 58 hours so that's pretty cool and yeah it's USB rechargeable it's got that little USB recharging thing on the side and uh, so that's very awesome and it's a little itty bitty flashlight the guy that I'm sending my flight my uh, my uh, uh, the other hat to uh, a long time ago we uh back in the 90s found out that white leds because we thought way back in the 90s that leds were really awesome but uh, we found out back in the 90s that white LEDs, white leds exist and we always thought that it'd be awesome to have a little itty bitty flashlight that we could hold that we could keep in our uh pockets and uh so here we are 20 years later and uh so he's uh, never heard of these micro flashlights so i'm sending him uh one of these micro flashlights inside of his hat and then i'm also sending him two more of these so he can have one to keep in his pocket and uh he can give one to his girlfriend okay hold on okay what would be a video about a fire hat if I didn't make some fire? Okay, here. I'll take this and put my... I'll take this and put my uh, thingy. A thingy. Oh, God. Jeez. Uh, first serum rod right here. And then I can, can... Can you guys still see that? Yes? Okay. And then I can scrape it. Okay, now I'm going to take my tinder quick and make it nice and fluffy on this side and put it on this side of my blade. You can see that? Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to see if I can. this and what you do with your flame here from your tinder quick is uh, you put dried grasses or dried dead grass you put dead grass on top of it and the dead grass uh, heats up and the moisture uh, the moisture uh, uh, the moisture evaporates from the from the dead grass and uh, because this this heats up the dead grass and the moisture evaporates from the dead grass and hopefully your dead grass is going to catch on fire it's going to dry out and catch on fire and that's what you want this to do is to heat up the dead grass to let all the moisture out and then it'll heat up and catch on fire and then on top of that you put um little sticks little sticks that are one or two millimeters wide maybe three millimeters something like that and um uh, or a sixteenth of an inch for us Americans. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. Uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, you get your little tinder things, you set it on fire, and you're using your tinder thing to be able to heat up uh, grass, uh, dead grass, dead grass, and the de dead grass, if it's a little moist, you know, it'll take a little while to evaporate all that uh, water from it, but you want to use this in the beginning to evaporate the water from the dead grass, so that the dead grass can heat up, catch on fire, and then that will catch little sticks on fire, one or two millimeters 
inch diameter dried dead sticks and uh, then those dead sticks catch on for one or two millimeters 16 mil 16th of an inch for us americans and uh, then those will get uh will heat up bigger sticks and eventually you can make your way all up to all the way up to catching logs on fire but yeah, depending on the conditions you may need several of these to uh set your thing on fire so uh that's pretty much it yeah that's about it from the from the from the fire hat also i wanted to say really quick uh you could put all this stuff back inside the hat in like two minutes that's pretty awesome okay yeah that's the end of it we're about to make a new video so love you guys thank you very much for watching bye